Even though we live in the Sunshine State, many of us still do not have enough vitamin D in our bodies. In fact, it has been described as one of the most common nutrient deficiencies in the world. So what does this mean for our health? Alice Branton is the author of a new book about vitamin D3 deficiency, and she is here to explain. Okay, welcome, Alice. Thank you. We've heard all of this for years. Spent time in the sunshine, you know to drink milk, but, so we do all those yes. things. Mm -hmm. Why do we not have enough vitamin D? Well, that's really one of the problems. This is a worldwide pandemic. The, everyone in the world, all populations, really are now showing deficiency. Mm. And sometimes we think, oh, it's because of age or race or geographic location. It has nothing to do with that now. The research that's coming out is saying that 75% of Americans, where, wherever they live, are vitamin D deficient. They did a study in the Middle East, 100% of the people were vitamin D deficient. Japan, China, and most recently the Vitamin D Council did a research study on Indian women in India who spend most of their time outside, a majority of their life outside. They are also 95% deficient in vitamin D. Oh, that's so not good. We're thinking we can get a little time in the sun, um, maybe longer for darker skin, but it's really, it's not working that way. And we're not, the body has losing its ability to really convert that vitamin D into the actin form that we need in uh, our bodies. There's the question, why is vitamin D important? Why do we need it in our bodies. It is the most important vitamin you can have. It is responsible for the cell to cell communication in your body. Mm -hmm. It is it is the master vitamin really it makes all the other vitamins work so the best analogy I have for that is it's kind of like the electricity that powers your home mm -hmm. if you have enough voltage everything can work properly if you don't then your lights are dimming your appliances aren't working nothing is working properly if you don't have enough power that's vitamin D you need it in every single cell mm -hmm. when it's not there there's all kinds of complications that can come from small smaller issues to immune system all the way to autoimmune disorders cardiac disease. Harvard recently did a study and said 60% of women that have cardiac issues were vitamin D deficient. You're scaring me. I feel like I should yeah. take a vitamin well, D pill well, in a commercial I break. My, yeah. you know, my doctor, when I went, you know, to get my physical, that's the first, we did our, you know, blood, blood check work. and Ed did all of our blood work and that's exactly what he did. He said, here you go. Here's your prescription. This is what you need. You need more vitamin D. Because even, like yeah. you're saying, even in terms of, you know, exposure, it's a, it's a, it is the absorption yeah. that does yeah. not happen yeah. within our bodies. I am deficient too, but mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. Mm. I just said, hmm. <laughs> <That's a different laughs> well, you might yes, she learned that Linda doesn't get skin checks either. So we're trying to get her along. <laughs> oh my goodness, no, you need it. Let's talk about the, some of the bigger, you know, more chronic and prevalent health problems we hear. We hear about osteoporosis. Yes. Now we're hearing mm -hmm. it tied to breast cancer. Yes. Why are we learning that vitamin D is backed into all these different issues? You know, it really is one of the fundamental pillars of your health. That's why it's so important. And even we, with breast cancer, we know one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer. And now they're saying, with some studies that have recently come out, that as much as 83%, as many as 83% of women had a vitamin D deficiency before that diagnosis. Mm. So it's just, it is in every single cell. It's not just for our bones. That's one of the myths, mm -hmm. you know. It's just for our bones. Or we just need it when you're young. You need it your entire life, more as you get older, yes. so that you can be healthy. I mean, it affects your brain cognition. It affects your cardiac health. It affects everything. Everything. So all that's right. what's it wrong. <laughs> so it does. Now you have yeah, one yeah. takeaway <laughs> is that we it. all need it and we likely all yes, need more right. of it. So yeah, thank exactly. you. During the sure commercial you break, go to my desk to get my vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> all right. To learn more about vitamin D3 deficiency, you can go to Alice's website. Coming up next, we meet this weekend's McCurdy's Comedian.